Hello guys, this is Mohammed Al Karakouli from iTech Pro. Last time we talked about how to configure Microtech router with OSPF routing protocol, and we saw how the routers exchange the subnets between them automatically. And today we are going to talk about how to add a new subnets to our networks and how the OSPF routing protocol will advertise the new subnets to the other routers in the network. As you see in this diagram, we have three sites connected together to provide redundancy. I already configured all routers with all IP addresses and the OSPF routing protocol already running. I will add two new subnets to the router 2 and see if the router 1 and router 3 will learn them from router 2. Let's say we have access point 2 and access point 1 connected to a switch and this switch connected to the Microtech 2. I will add two VLAN interfaces to the Microtech 2. One of them for access point 1 and the other VLAN for access point 2. I will give IP address for each VLAN interface. Now I am done with the VLAN configurations. I will tell the OSPF how to advertise the new subnets to the other routers. By this command, I'm telling the OSPF to redistribute all the connected subnet to the other routers in the network. Let's check the router 3 and router 1 and see if they learned the new subnets. I will check first on router 1 by doing IP route print. As you see guys, the router 1 learned both new subnets. Let's try ping them. As you see guys, the ping is successful. Let's check router 3. And the same thing, router 3 learned both new subnet. And the ping is successful. Let's try to add a new subnet to router 2.
and let's check mycrotic 1 and mycrotic 3 and see if they learned the new subnet. As you see guys, Microtic 1 now know about the new subnet, the 22. Let's check router 3. And router 3 also know about the new subnet. At this point, we're done for today. See you soon. Thank you so much.